Out of this, deputies are investigating tonight after a father and daughter died from carbon monoxide poisoning while out on a houseboat over the weekend. It happened in the San Joaquin Delta. CBS 13's Rob Malcolm is near Discovery Bay with more on what happened here and the warning tonight for boaters. As boats roll through the waters of Discovery Bay, the 4th of July tragedy has hit this tight-knit community hard. I think it's horrible. I think it's uh, a tragedy that can be totally prevented. 4 a.m. Friday, a woman boating near Ski Island Beach in the San Joaquin Delta woke up to find the body of her 57-year-old fiancé and his 26-year-old daughter. Both John Labar and his daughter, Danielle, succumbed to carbon monoxide poisoning. You know, people don't know that it kills, number one, and for two, that it's so easily to be prevented. Danelle Kent was too distraught to talk on camera, but says when fire and Coast Guard arrived on scene, their carbon monoxide detectors were going off. She was hustled away and treated while pleading for her family members to be saved. They were boating in an older 1972 Nautiline houseboat, similar to this one pictured here. She says it didn't have a carbon monoxide detector. And I think it's time for everybody to check the boats, and if it's an older boat that doesn't come equipped with it automatically, I think it's time to, to think about this. The San Joaquin County Sheriff's Department is investigating the accidental death and reminding boaters that houseboats have hidden dangers in closed cabin areas. Clean air should always be flowing and exhaust pipes should be checked regularly for leaks. These boats will sit for several months in the winter and not get the treatment that they need. That's where your carbon monoxide dangers occur. A tragedy neighbors say could have been prevented. Easy to install, they're very inexpensive, and it's, 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 it's one of those unfortunate situations where it's a wake-up call for everybody. And this was absolutely heartbreaking. Danelle was a woman who discovered her loved ones dead on that 4th of July weekend. She says this is a wake-up call to everyone. She would also like to start a fund for her family and create awareness in the boating community here in Discovery Bay. Yeah, you got a feel for the victim's family tonight. Rob, thanks. Live in Discovery Bay.